medyo mas magtabli yata ako doon kesa sa video. Ulan mo na po, maraming salamat po sa inyo. At sa NUJC, sa Lodi, sa Lodi. Let me just switch to where I'm more comfortable. We've been overwhelmed and very, very humbled by the reaction of the journalists and the community and our community. Yeah, after we received the SEC decision Monday. Uh, Tuesday, it, the Department of Justice forwarded it, Essentially, the FBI is now investigating that work. Yesterday, I received a subpoena that is calling me to, to the NBI <laughs> for something, for an offense I don't even, I don't even have the actual complaint. Siguro po ito po yung nabitin namin sa rap, but uh, we're just journalists. And yet, there's a lot of effort that is put to turn journalism into a crime, which it shouldn't be, right? It isn't. There's certainly many more crimes than we to for, for our government authorities to look at. We're facing two battles in Rappler. The first is the business part, very obscure, PDRs, uh, and that will have an impact on the way the global business community will look at the rule of law in business in the Philippines. The second is, can we continue doing what we're doing? Press freedom. This is political in nature, and you can see it both in the SEC decision and in the subpoena I just received last night. Wala po akong masyadong masasabi ngayon. I think that we're overwhelmed, both by government action and by the support you've shown. I think that we need to continue. What we say in Rappler is, we're going to hold the line. We're not doing anything but journalism. We're speaking truth to power. That's what we do. That's what makes a democracy successful. The role of journalists, right? And we're going to keep doing that. We're not afraid, and we won't be intimidated. 